Reviewing a subscriber's first run and shoot CFM game. Drive number one. First off, I just want to say thanks to Monsta65 for allowing me to do this review. Right here you have the inside slot uncovered, six in the box. Shouldn't be running it here. Probably run the bubble screen there. You're running choice here into the boundary. I don't like running that choice route into the boundary. I like giving a little bit more room to work with trips into the boundary instead. But it's cover one, it works. You can hit that crosser. Right slot uncovered, six in the box. Looks like a cover three buzz kind of look. And you're running into six in the box. Don't do that. It might work every once in a while, but it's not gonna be a good time. Don't run that play. Just, just don't. Drive number two. Yeah, I prefer you having your big power backs and pistol and single back. If you're gonna have that more of a scat back or a speedy, elusive receiving back, you want them more in gun. Everything's covered in two high, so you're looking at one of two coverages, either one robber or two man. So what are you gonna call to beat that? Oh yes, yeah, smash. That post is really, really good. One of the best posts in the game. If you see that overload to the left, you gotta think, how can I attack that leverage? That's what this offense is all about. It's about identifying mismatches and attacking leverage. If you see everyone going to the right and you see a two-on-one to the left, you have to take it. I don't know what you're doing here. Just absolutely ruins this play. These routes run into each other. I, I know this is popular online to use slants as some sort of crossing route, but that play's so good as it is stock. You're taking a play that will pick up 30 yards, 40 yards, 25 yards consistently and you're replacing it with there's so many ways to attack defenses legitimately in this i just don't think you need to resort to more glitchy methods which to me that's glitchy yeah the burmy star had a video on that exact setup for running that bubble link in the description drive number three Looks like cover two pressed out of 3-3-5. Three, three, you got a linebacker over Diggs. You got to find a way to exploit that. Let's see if he comes across with him. This version isn't Houston when it's still the curl over there. It's called Atlanta. It's okay versus cover two. It's just not great, especially now with a user rushing out there like that. There were better play calls you could have gone to versus that look. You'll learn that as you keep going. He's pinching that line. I don't know why you would even think about a run play here. I don't care if it's read option. Unless you're keeping it. Slide is always good. Especially when they're showing you zone there. It's pretty effective versus zone. And instead we went to the bubble. The timing on the bubble is big. You're going to have to definitely get in there in practice mode. And you're going to have to just run bubble against everything. Drive number four. Yeah, this is definitely cover one, probably a cover one blitz. So the question is, what do you want to do? You can tell by that, that one safety being all the way over there by himself. Yeah, this is a great play. I don't like what you do with it here. You should be looking for that post. That's a touchdown. And instead, you completed the wheel. The wheel is very hard to complete, so cool. But it's settling for a 12-yard gain instead of a touchdown. Or, worst case, a 30, 40-yard play. This can be pretty good, but again, you're kind of seeing a two-man look here, which is what you get. And that corner just outplayed your receiver. That's going to happen with man. 
For a second there, it looked like he might beat him, but he didn't. That's where having agility really high is really important for your slots. And I'm, I'm sure with that guy, he, I know he's a rookie. It's probably more his route running. There is that slant as a crosser again. Caught him definitely with his pants down. But if you look over to the left side, it's a two-on-one over there. And here you're throwing where two defenders can cover one receiver. Luckily, your guy's faster than his guys. That's what happened there. If you see all the coverage going to the right and you got two guys to the left, you, you have to change your reads. That's an alert. But hey, a, a touchdown's a touchdown. The next play. Here's an example of your defense just being great in this game. Just robbed that. Nice trap coverage. Got underneath that and, and just took it back to the house. So now instead of being 0-0 right before half, it's now 14-0 going into the half. And then you get the ball first. Drive number five. Looks like 3-3-5. Too high zone again. Uncovered slot. I'd run this. And I'd roll to the right. You keep going to the bubble there. That's okay. He brought that guy in. That definitely gives you an advantage. But if you'd broken it inside, it would have worked. And if you would like your game film of the run and shoot analyzed, make sure to send me a link over on the Discord. And I'll be happy to go check out your video in a future installment. Link in the description. So on this play, you're going back to Smash. And here it comes. That post is really nice. Just make sure you rat catch it up in the future. You might have been able to take that for more. Yes, 60 slide. This is the play. That guy's open. Throw it, throw it. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, no. What are you doing? That is so lucky. We don't want to bet on miracle plays, man. I mean, they're going to happen, and it's awesome that you caught it. That's great. That's a miracle. We need plays that we can repeatedly make happen. And ironically, that play has been very consistent for you this game. Drive number six. So now you're up 21-7. Late third. Two minutes on the clock. Good job. Start running the ball. When he gives you looks, you got to run it. I like that versus that. You have apex on the left, meaning you're looking at zone. Slide's good versus just about any zone, so that wouldn't have been bad, but again with the bubble, you haven't gotten it to work so far this game. A lot of it's timing, a lot of it's knowing what looks to throw it against. He keeps base aligning and doing this stuff that's just going to give him horrible alignment. I don't know why people do that. Oh, not this RPO again. It's okay if you run with it, or if you keep it as the quarterback, it can be okay sometimes. Not consistently enough for me. Yeah, switch smash, run it, run it. Okay, that, that's good too. Especially with the way his edge defenders are so wide. Here it comes. He's going to put us a drag and a slant. The play stock is just so good. It has the deep crossing route. It has the slot fade. It has the deep out. Those are the three routes you should be reading on that. You don't need anything hot routed. This is a good play call if you're running the dive. Yeah, but you ran it to the wrong side. I think even the play art was to the right. I don't know if you changed it or the ball just got the animation put you in the wrong place but that's much better 
But again, for these, I would rather have AJ Dillon in. Now you're back in the gun. Yes, slide. Run slide. And you are going to run a post against a one high safety. That is bad leverage. Don't do that. Make sure you boop that like button. Hit that subscribe. Comment down below. And make sure to share it with your community. This video is not brought to you by Skillshare, NordVPN, or Manscaped. Here comes the run. Should have cut it inside there, but you did fine. It's always easy to look at a run play and say, oh, I should have done that. In the moment, you just make the best decisions you can. There you go, you got the end zone. Kick it, up 21. The next play. Another example of your defense being great. Wow, he rolled all the way out to the sideline. Guy's desperate. I wonder how he'll react. Oh, in, in most CFMs, conceding a game like that is grounds for either some sort of severe punishment or a boot from the league. Conclusion. An 88% completion rate is just great. That was a very solid game. Not trying to be overly critical. Your defense definitely kept you in it, though. Homework, practice circle, practice slide, practice bubble screen, too. Practice running with AJ Dillon, practice switch smash, and review the pre-snap reads video. Hey, guys, if you want to have your video reviewed like this one was, come over to our Discord server. It's the link in the description and send me a link of one of your most recent run and shoot or air raid or you name it i'll see you there